If you guys would like to get yourself some official SimC merchandise, check out my Spreadshirt link in the description below for t-shirts, hoodies, mugs and cups. If you do make a purchase, send me a photo on Twitter, but regardless, let's get stuck into the video. Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4. We're playing on the Man in the High Castle mod as Nazi America. This is episode 3. So guys, if you still are enjoying this series and would like to see more, the best way to ensure more content is leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and let me know in the comments where you'd like me to expand. This series will end in the not too distant future, so let me know what you'd like me to replace this series with. Doesn't necessarily have to be Hearts of Iron, of course, or this mod, just has to be a strategy game in general. Paradox, Total War, let me know in the comments. But if you're not enjoying the series, feel free to leave a dislike. That helps me gauge as well. So welcome back to the series. It's currently the 24th of June, 1967. And in today's episode, we're going to be declaring war upon Spain. We're going to be invading Iberia, Hispania. And having some uh, military efforts in Europe for the first time. Hopefully we can take in, I'm probably going to puppet Switzerland and probably Sweden in today's episode while taking Britannia, Ireland, uh, Spain for myself. So welcome to the series. So basically this mod is the Man in the High Castle mod. It's a TV show. It's decent. Go and watch it if you haven't already. But basically to sum everything up. Hitler won World War II. We're playing as Nazi America, of course. I'll quickly switch over to the diplomacy map mode to show you guys my territory. So in the first episode, we started off here in America. America is still somewhat divided with the Japanese Pacific states. We can deal with them at some point. Um, and they've also got Alaska and Hawaii as well. So we took Canada, Mexico pretty early on. In the last episode, wowzers, we took the entirety of South America and Central America. As you can see here, we're still a part of the Axis technically. I'm going to betray them at some point. That's the objective for this series, is to take out Hitler and install the Nazi American Reich. The Greater Nazi Reich is a mere imitation of old fascism. And Heinrich Himmler is the man in charge to bring back fascism and Nazi values, okay? God, I hope people are hope. Uh, God, I hope people think I'm joking and role playing. Jesus fucking Christ, I'm on some watch list. Uh, don't worry. <laughs> anyway, so there's three factions in the game: the Greater East Asian um, Cooperation Sphere, Amer uh, Italy. Yeah, yeah. The Roman Empire have their own faction here, with Greece, Turkey, fascist Iraq, down in Ethiopia. Uh, Wars-wise, we currently have the German-Soviet war. Now, I'm the only Axis member not in. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. The Soviets have lost 106 uh, under the command of Trotsky. Whoa, okay, so look at the, the Moscow Reich. has lost 87k. So they're actually fighting on the border here. What's really cool about this mod is obviously when they won World War II, we've got the Nazi American here. Somewhat of it was divided up with Japan. We've got, these sol we've got these sort of smaller Reich countries, so we've got the Ukrainian Reich here, we have the Moscovy Reich, obviously taking this part of Russia, Greater Finland here, we've got the Polish Reich, we've got the Caucasus Reich here as well. So they're basically fighting on the border here with the Soviet Union, um, I have no idea how well they're going to go, but hopefully they can be whittled down so I don't, I don't have to verse them. So at the moment, let's go through my armies per se. So we have 23 divisions here ready to hit the Spanish. 57 here on the border ready to push over the Spanish Alps. And we have 28 divisions here as well. At the moment in our just sort of faction political overview, we're doing really well. We've hit, we've all, hit all the way down here with our fascism. I'm not going to go with technology sharing because I don't want to do that with my Nazi comrades, you know. Uh, what's this sort of... Oh, this is Liberty Ethos. I thought maybe oh, something there might have caught my eye. Uh, military stuff, we've gone down. We've gone through industrial. So trade-wise... Diplomacy-wise, sorry, firstly, before we get into trade. Yeah, let me know in the comments. I could flip over to democracy, bring back America. Fuck yeah. You know what I mean? America. Fuck yeah. Or I could maybe do my own fascist faction or sort of continue on with this role playing of bringing, basically letting Nazi America betray the Nazis. The bad guys versus the bad guys, eh? Okay. 
So we've got a decent amount of oil. We've got a decent amount of aluminium, rubber. Uh, we're importing a fair bit of rubber. Look how much we're importing. Yeah. Same with our um, chromium production-wise. It's crazy how far we've come from just those ten linear divi divisions. We've really snowballed, even not having half of America. Here's our conscription tabs as well. These are sort of the divisions we're working with, which is we're in a really good position. We've got 6 million manpower spare as well, and we're really just pumping out. We've even got modern tanks coming along as well. Okay, so at the moment, we currently have air superiority over the top in Iberia, opera operating out of Marseille in southern France, and Lyon Laurent in uh, Brittany. We've even got some planes near Strasbourg and just to the left-hand side of Munich. Okay, so I'm going to declare war upon Spain firstly. They are fascists, but they're not allied with anyone. I'm going to take Spain as a staging ground for myself. So let's do that now then, shall we? Let's hit them. Hit them hard. Be relentless and ungiving, and we will be victorious. Okay, looks like we're drawing everyone in as well. Excellent. Okay. We need to push down and take their African territories first. That is our best bet. We've also got my navy operating, don't we? Yeah, in the Western Mediterranean and whatnot. Where are they operating? Yeah, they should be operating around Iberia. Okay, moving on to Switzerland now. That's going to be a little bit more difficult. I love how they're still neutral, the Swiss. We still should be able to push. Okay, so we're going to be able to operate some nukes over the top. So let's rain fire and, and death from, um, upon the Spanish. Los Blancos, motherfucker. And there we go. Look at that. We are just carving up the Spanish like carving a cake. Next, it'll be the Vile Swiss. Now, I'm actually inclined to puppet the Swiss and potentially, um... Sverdan. Just to sort of... I don't know, it's kind of lonely in Europe. You know? Maybe be something a little bit different. So, things. I'm pretty alright for manpower. I'm going to need Portugal and Spain, of course, for my staging grounds. But Switzerland, it's nearby. It's a neutral country. Um, I want to actually upgrade some of my fighters. Um, yeah, it's a neutral country. It's nearby. It might be a better idea. Sort of puppeting them, you know, if I ever do make my own faction. So they've been conquered. And let's just straight up puppet them, okay? Boom. There we go. Cool. Now, I'm hoping that that hasn't made them join the Axis, has it? Fuck. Damn it. Because technically I'm in the Axis. So that means technically Switzerland's in the Axis? No, nah, I should have rethought that. Damn it, because technically I have an Overlord. But are they still my puppet? Swiss, Im yeah, Swiss Imperial Confederation is a puppet of a foreign power, yeah, but they're technically in the Axis. Now, if I declare war upon, let's say, the German Reich, uh, where's Switzerland's allegiance going to lie? Is it going to ally to the puppet, or is it going to ally to the Axis? That's the concern I have, okay. How are we going? Um, okay. <laughs> uh, how well are we doing here? What's what seems to be the problem? Um, how well is like sort of everyone going? Okay, 68k Spaniards are dead. Whoa, 555k. We've lost a couple of units. Um, just more so just pushing than everything. Oh, looks like Africa's been taken as well. So let's quickly swing down and and deal with that now, shall we? Okay, let's continue with some doctrine sort of stuff. Okay, cool. So Switzerland's now taken. But, let's... Okay, how well are we sort of doing here? So we've nearly wrapped up Spain down in Africa. 36% towards capitulation. Let's try and swing around my air force now that we're not operating in Switzerland at all. 
Okay, there might be some key territories like Madrid has nearly, nearly taken that. Valladolid or Viedo up in the north. I said Los Blancos before because Real Madrid are a quite good football team. <laughs> there we go. Real Madrid. Okay, we got some spare units in Philadelphia now. Alright, we're slowly but surely put- Yes! Spain has capitulated. Now let's take the entirety for myself. Boom! Holy crap! Nearly 300,000 equipment has been seized. And how much is that? Whoa, that's rocketed our military factories up big time. Now let's go and take Portugal. Portugal. Right. Whoa. I didn't mean to do that. Right, we've got these 27 divisions ready to go against the Swedes. And I think, you know what? Let's send these guys there as well. You're going to have a nice trip to Ikea. A sphere then. Right. A sphere then. Yeah. Right. Um, we got, wow, we've got a massive fucking fleet here. I'm so happy about that. We've only got like one or two heavy to battle cruisers. 200 submarines. <laughs> okay. Um, let's push up into Sweden. To be fair, I reckon Portugal might have a decent navy as well. So it's sort of... Oh, we can't really split him up like that, can we? Nah, we have to sort of pick one. Hmm... Probably Portugal. There's probably going to be more Nazis up in the north that will help with that sort of stuff. We've got plenty of political power. Um, Military-wise, what do you want to sort of go? Yeah, motorized is not a bad idea. We really just need to repair. I'm sure we can re-change that as best we can. Okay. Just supply is the main thing. No way. I don't want to be in that war. The German-Soviet one. They've lost 5k. Nearly 300k. The Moscovy Reich, 180. As long as like we can weak, weak, weaken the Axis, I'm more than happy. So they're still fighting. What's even a reference point? Is there a town here? So they're they're not here in the. Uh, what sea is this? Caspian, maybe? I'm not too sure. Especially some of these like sort of really far eastern. Oh, here we go. The famous town of Chelyabinsk. Yeah, that's where they're fighting. And over this mountain range here, which would be fucking hell, I reckon. But it looks like Trotsky's still holding out. <laughs> the Communist Party's still strong. It's a little bit all over the place. It's, it's sort of back and forth, back and forth, you know? Nothing really... Too much has changed. Okay, so how are we looking? Okay. God, I fucking love South Park. Holy shit. Right. I feel like I'm just promoting TV shows in the entirety of this series. <laughs> I do watch a lot of TV shows. I, I quite I like to I quite enjoy them. Definitely more than movies. My favorite TV show. I don't know actually. It would probably be my top 3 would probably be Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad and Vikings in probably no particular order. I've I'll probably Game of Thrones first, just because I've been a fan of that show for so long. But I I love what I love about Vikings so much is travel Travis Fimmel's performance, especially seeing he's some fucking Australian as well who lives in like um he lives on where does he live? He lives up here somewhere. He lives in in the middle of fucking nowhere in Victoria and has his own farm and he just it's just hilarious his story to Hollywood. I recommend watching some of his interviews if you're into Vikings. It's fucking great. Rightio, guys. It's time to hit Portugal and Sweden now. I'm kind of surprised as to how many divisions I have. 124 all up, which is well, probably not surprising seeing as I occupy pretty much the entirety of the Americas. And I have a small portion here in Iberia now in, in Africa. But holy crap, it's a lot of divisions. And for some reason, we're still not... It's risky. I know that some divisions are still preparing, but... I'm kind of blown away by that. Anyway, let's uh, push into Sweden. Let's attack from Lapland. Okay, let's pretty much go straight on for it. I might give it a little bit longer for the attack on Portugal. But we'll see how we go. Okay. 
We upgraded one of the fighters, which is cool. Uh, where are we sort of looking? Probably get some better tactical bombers, maybe some strap bombers or something. Just upgrading some of the fighters, but I don't know if I even should bother, because the thing is, right, we've got so many, um, fighters just from stockpiled from other countries, we might as well use them up instead of making our own, you know? Okay, so here we go, this is going to be the, the real bread and biscuits, because Portugal have a lot of troops here, but we might be able to get the jump on them, you know? So let's sort of see how we go here. We are winning where we can. We're pushing in now. now. Let's quickly pause just for my own curiosity. So, 38 to 71. 65k. Let's call everyone in we can. That other war, the Soviet and the um, Nazi. Wow! A million lost from either side. Okay, how successful are we going? We've managed to sink two Portuguese submarines. It is absolutely fantastic. Oh, it looks like we've carved them up quite quickly. So Portugal is now mine. I'm going to take the entirety of it for myself. Like I said, I want Iberia to be my staging ground. That was a lot... Wow, that actually was a hell of a lot easier than taking Sweden. But it looks like the Swedish advance it took longer because of... Yeah, I, I think what happened is... Yeah, that happened. <laughs> the attack margin, the attack point sort of got gobbled up. I want to puppet Sweden. Um, but I just hope they don't stick with the Nazis, you know. We'll sort of see how we go. They might sort of side with them since they're in their faction. I have a feeling like that could happen. Okay, I'm kind of... Here we go. Okay, cool. Let's pop it. Okay, and let's request forces. None. Grant independence, improve relations, lend least, boost power popularity. Boom. So there's not many neutral countries left after that. But I, I want to try and hit Britannia. I want to try and get Ireland. I want to try and get these two countries under my control next. Okay, boys. The invasion of Britain. Britannia has been planned, set, and match. I'm raring to go. Okay, I'll quickly show you what I've done. So we're going to be hitting Britannia along with Ireland now. We currently have 53 divisions in... Where is this? Callus. Is that Dunkirk? I can't quite see. Probably is. Uh, let's have a look here. Seven divisions here with Rudolf. We've got another five here with Johannes Wilson. We had to recruit a couple of uh, generals just so we could get this naval invasion done. Then we've got Alex Williams invading from Norway. And then we've got the rest of our divisions. 39 here with Marcus Johnson. 66 nukes in the bank. And then we have 22 divisions over in Philadelphia. It's always sunny, bruh. Uh, let's uh, get Bob Smith in raring to go. Cool. Pop you there. Okay, now Britain, funnily enough, is actually justifying against Norway. Um, so that's going on. What else is happening here? Yeah, so this... Okay, so the Moscow Reich has lost 800k. German, the greater Nazi Reich has lost 10k, while the Soviet Union has lost 900k. So they've pushed a bit of ground here, but the war is still very much so going on. So we should be able to go for it now. We have air superiority over the top in the channel, and we also have naval supremacy for the time being. It's the 20th of April, 1968. Haven't skipped too far ahead, but let's get rid of these Nazi pretenders in Britain and bring Nazi America under our control. Okay, cool. Looks like everyone's in. Okay. We wanna, what we want to try and do is probably bomb what we're going into to before. Ah, oh, fuck. Maybe, maybe we weren't, shouldn't have done that. I was thinking from the perspective of, um, I was thinking from the perspective of, 
air invasions. I was just trying to see if I could find their air bases because I'll try and bomb them if I could. Oh, no, but it looks like it actually worked. Somewhat. Okay, so we have a... A foothold here and... In, in, whoa! Eight submarines have been destroyed. Fantastic. So, we've got a footholding here in Portsmouth. And it looks like we've arrived here in the Greater London region. Fantastic. Okay, let's get these guys over to Britain. Quick, fast. Fast as you can, boys. I guess just trying to expand up to the top of England. Go, 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 Gadget. Same with you. Probably push over to Wales. And what I'll do is I'll drop one of you guys off permanently to defend the port. Okay. I might give the order for the Norwegian force to drop off here. But what, what we want to do is we want to go with, for an aggressive stance and just try and take as much territory as we can. We've even got some more divisions over here. So once we free up a new port, uh, maybe here even, that's got your name on it. So just try and take as much territory as possible. Let's hit them and hit them hard. London is ours. London has fallen. Okay, right. I was going to say who... Th oh, I gave the, the, the order to them to be idle, idly by. Whoa, okay. I'm just curious to see these naval results at the moment. How are we going? Good looking. Uh, not too bad. Stats-wise, how are we going now? So we got the Nazi-American war against the British. Whoa! 33%. 34k Brits lost. How many divisions do they have? 107 to 180, our biggest foe so far. And it looks like we've got them on the ropes already. Okay, where were those 37? They're nearly here already. We are stocking it. We're chocking it big time. Okay, maybe we can bomb like Bristol, Birmingham or something. Okay. Let's redirect. Ah, we're going to have to do that later anyway, don't worry. I'm going to have to sort of restructure the order of my construction because at the moment we're not really focusing on, prepare on repairs. Okay. Now that everyone's here, I'm just trying to think if I should focus on like one invasion force. Or just kind of let everyone else do what they're sort of doing. No. Nah. What? How do we get them so quickly? That's just blown me away. We did all the work there. That was all me. That was no one else. Excellent. So now Britain Britannia is ours. Look at that. We've done so well in this campaign so far. Okay, now time to hit uh, the Republic of Ireland. Democracy. Yuck. Okay, guys. Ireland is next on the list. And let's make them kick the bucket. Let's say. Okay, so let's justify war against Ireland. It might be a little bit tricky um, supply areas Why supply lines. But we should be right. We currently have air supremacy over the top. We've also got naval support as well. We have 116 divisions in reserve. So if we need them at any point, they're right here. But once we've done with that, we might end the episode here. Okay, whoa. What the fuck is this? The Battle of the English Channel, Admiral John Williams vs. James Fawn Somerville. 36 British destroyers were, su were sunk, 6 cruisers, whoa, S fuck me, <laughs> over a hundred aircraft has been shot down in the English Channel, just scattered all over the beaches of Cornwall. 20 submarines were lost, it looks like it was mostly just their casualties. Uh, oh, we might have lost a couple of our own boys here. Somewhere. I'm not sure where that was. Somewhere. I think we might have lost a couple. Who's this? What? How's that possible? How is the greater Nazi Reich justifying against us? 
How's that possible? What? Greater Nazi Reich is justifying against us. We're in the Axis together. It doesn't make any sense. What's our opinion together? 100%. Yeah. I know they might be pissed off, seeing as we're not helping out in this war against the Soviet Union, which the Moscow Reich has lost 900k. Like, holy shit. The Soviets have lost 1.3 mil, but... Anyway, where were we? We were dealing with the Irish. Here we go. Here come the Irish. And here we go. We're about to overrun them. Faster than you can say potato. Man, I could go for a pretty potato right now. There we go. But he's starving. Okay, cool. Island is ours. Ironically so with the, uh, the Irish, I guess. Anyway. On that note, guys, I think it's time to end the video here. We've smashed most of the neutral European countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we currently occupy the entirety of North America by the Japanese Pacific States. We have Central America and South America under our control. What we could do in the next episode is maybe... I don't know, maybe force war against the Italian state here and the Axis. Maybe try and force that. Um... Maybe try and do something here. Try and just do a coup or something. I don't know. You know what I mean? I try and spice things up and make the Axis fight them. At the moment, we can't technically leave the Axis just yet. As Or maybe we can. Can we? Yeah, we can. Because we're technically not fighting with them in that war. So maybe we, we're definitely going to fight the Axis at some point. I might disband and make my own faction in the next episode. We definitely could. Or maybe I should wait. Stay tuned for that one. Or maybe there's some more neutral countries. Yeah, we maybe could take a couple more, like Saudi Arabia, Iran, or or something else. Or maybe like can't really take the Soviet Union because they're about to be done. But at the moment, we're in a very good position to go to war with the Axis. We've got Britain. We've got Ireland as a staging post to invade into Europe. We've also got Spain under our control as well, so we can really go through here. And we've also got a small portion here in Africa, so we can push down through here. We have Switzerland and S and Sverdan, the Svendan Reich, under our toe. But then we've also got the military strength of the entirety of the Americas backing us as well. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. These days, to get all the notifications for the channel, you have to click the bell, of course, to join the notifications squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys would like to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. Maybe you can pick up a strategy game you haven't picked up just yet. Maybe Hearts of Iron, maybe Crusader Kings 2, maybe a Total War. Check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below for cheap and reliable games. I do recommend going and checking out the prices even. There's some really good prices on there. Patreon and merchandise link in the description below along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much much for watching once again make sure to take care of yourselves go out and have a fantastic rest of your day my name is Ben Simsy bye really close cinematic shots here pushing through the bridge oh look at <laughs> that was probably the shot of the video there